Developments now in the disappearance and death of Felicia Johnson. Her accused killer has been charged but is still on the run. The 28 year old man is accused of killing her inside his apartment and then dumping her body days later. Her remains have not been found, but items that belong to her were discovered in Bear Creek Park. Our Rochelle Turner has much more on the situation. Rochelle. Lauren, days after she was reported missing, her phone was found covered in blood at this park. Now the search is on for the suspect and where he dumped her body. Today we spoke to a mother at the apartment complex where police say the suspect lived. That definitely puts fear in me. Zena Brewington couldn't believe the news about Felicia Johnson. The 24-year-old disappeared in April and Houston police say she was murdered. Brewington says she was living across from this man, 28-year-old Chakwabuka Ewobodo at the Link Apartments on South Richmond Avenue. Investigators say Ewobodo picked up Johnson from an apartment on Wind Chase Boulevard and took her to his apartment. Ewobodo is on the run and charged with murder and tampering with evidence in Felicia Johnson's disappearance. It's definitely scary. I mean, it was scary, first off, just to see the SWAT team there. Brewington says officers wearing camouflage armed with weapons showed up to the complex on May 13th. Um, I heard them trying to get him to come outside, nothing. And then I heard them actually force their way into the apartment. Police say Equiboto killed Johnson inside of his apartment before disposing her personal items at Bear Creek Park. Felicia's phone was found near the park covered in blood days after she got into a car with a man at the Cover Girls nightclub on West Little York Road. Since Felicia's disappearance, her father Kevin and community activists have searched and prayed for justice. The 24-year-old from California visiting Houston never made it back home. And we did ask Houston police about what the woman says happened on May 13th, but they told me they cannot answer any questions about the investigation. Right now, Crime Stoppers is still offering a $5,000 reward for information on this case. Reporting live from Bear Creek Park, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News.